What is up guys, it's Nick. We are back and it is time to take on Summoned Gahaku boss. So let's hop right into this. I uh, I got us to this point. We actually did farm that area that I farmed in the last episode, which was kind of funny because I, I didn't actually think we farmed it at any point. Um, I, at least I didn't remember farming it. And so, yeah. Let's see here. After this fight, I want to check how many skill points I have. Get up, get up, get up, get up. You get staggered really easy in this fight. Get up. Oh, also, I need to, um... I need to get to the level 50. I need to do the level 50 quest, because... I'm about to be. We're level 49 on this character. Alright. So we don't need to use... I don't know why I tried to use Dark Portal. Summon the Black Spirit. Although he's already dead, the Giants are probably aware of the fact that you defeated Gahaku. Hehehe. He, he. This will break their resolve to invade Keplin. I think this should be enough. Ooh, we got a lot of good loot from that. Um, this is what we need to do. Um... But I'm, I'm waiting on it for a second. We helped Greco achieve what he wanted. Now it's our turn to start making demands and get what we came here for. I know you might be in the mood for some more giant slaying, but we should first go back to deal to the to, uh, to that dealer in Kepler. He <laughs> he he. All right. So we're gonna head back. I wish you could just look at your skill points. Um, I went ahead and sold everything that I had and deposited the money into. Uh, the central market, so we'll go to that. I'm sure something sold. Yeah, seven sales completed. That would be the weapon stones we had. Bringing us up to 24 million, which is good. Uh, we still need to sell the Zareth helmet. I have it at a higher price. I'll probably lower it, but it's at a higher price right now. Just see if I can get it. Um, we have some necklaces and whatnot. Hopefully some of this stuff can sell. It's not worth a whole lot if it's it just never sells. I'll just sell it and take a little bit of a loss. What are those rub or those sapphires used for? Uh, natural resource, rough sapphire. Hmm. I don't know why they're showing up now. I like how this page is always empty. There's never anything here <laughs> because it's usually been lowered. Or it's been raised and now no one's selling any of it. It's a just an odd system. Let's see, did we get any new uh, pearl shop items? New pearl shop. Um, is it gonna load? I don't know, that's really cool looking, but that's not... that. Well, it's new from me showing it a video, but it's not new. So, no, not we did not. What is this? What does this look like? Oh, it's all the same. That looks really nice, except that shield and the, the bow don't look like they go together. I might as well just enter the world of PvP. I know I could wait till the last second, but we might as well just enter it. Screw it. I have to be on standby mode, of, co of course. Screw it. Pop it. Pop it. Whatever. Um, let's take a look at our skills while we're standing idle. I have 58 skill points. So there were a couple things I wanted. I probably should get this, but it costs 16 skill points. Some of this stuff costs so much. Um, I want to get this. Flow, Ravage, Rake. That was one of the things I wanted to get. Uh, should probably get Wheel of Fortune for- oh my gosh, it's so expensive. Oh, that was so expensive. I, w I think this is the- well, Camisylvia slash might be what I choose. It's one of these- well, that's three, that's- I can get both. I can get them both. Okay. That worked out. That worked out really well. Oh, what's our reward for completing this? A black stone. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, back to town we go. How far away are we? Oh, we're almost there. 
I had to go all the way to Kalfion because this place doesn't have a central market in Keplin. Which is tragic. Alright. I think this is where we go to Catfishmen, which is where I would go and farm anyway, so I'm okay doing the story to get there. Uh, these written instructions detail the Kaplan invasion plans of the Giants. It turns out that the rumors among the workers were true after all. My life, including the Black Crystal business, would have been in grave danger if it weren't for you. I believe the villagers of Kaplan will be open to the idea of allowing the Light Merchant Guild acquire trading rights once they hear this. Since we're both, or since we both got what we wanted, wouldn't you consider this a real merchant's trade? You should head back to Kalfian. Rest assured, I will not forget what happened here today. Our paths have ever crossed again. I'm sure we will have some business to discuss. Alright, so now we need to return to Elena Light. This is, we're about to get to that point of the game where it doesn't make any sense to me, where Elena Light's kind of a lying, she's a lying sack of shit. And, um, Isabel Incarosha just takes us back with open arms, even though we backstabbed her to join the lane of light. This is the part that, it just still doesn't make any sense to me. But, it's whatever. I mean, we're about to be done with this portion of the game. Um, because then it becomes, um, it becomes the, uh, the western part we then we then are done with like over here and then we head over here this place looks so dead on my map because i haven't done anything here and i i haven't been down have i not been down here yet i wonder what this is i kind of want to put a marker down like over here but that, this can't all be... Well, there's a road here. You're telling me there's, like, area down here that you can't... Most of this area down here is inaccessible. But are you telling me that this is actually accessible here? I, I know, like, this castle obviously is, but... Huh. Might have to check that out on my sorceress. My sorceress is pretty much the only one that can go over there. I mean... I could send this character over there, but it's a it's whatever. My sorceress just makes more sense, though. Trying to farm the Asula Crimson Eye set, and that's just not... That's just not going well. That's just become a tragic sadness, trying to farm for Asula set. I'm not even getting, like, good drops to begin with, and it's kind of depressing. I'm about to just start waiting for the weekends and farming, finding parties to farm with up here at Sarma Outpost, or the Sousen Garrison, not Sarma Outpost, the Sousen Garrison. I'm a little underleveled to farm it by myself, um, and it just makes it easier if you farm in the party, you get better drops, a little bit more experience, and, uh, I need to get to 56. 56 is really where I want to get to because then I can join parties that are farming pirates. And that's what I want to be able to do. Okay. Line of light. You arrived earlier than I expected. Welcome. Your potential really is limitless. Will you? While you were working in Keplin, many changes happened to the capital city. Oh, I had something about bad news about the Encrocia. thought that was part of the bottom section that's always... Just a recap. An inquisition has been opened to address matters concerning the Incarosha family, disregarding the case of whether the family was funding the rebellion in Heidel. If this is true, if this is found to be true, the Incarosha family will be ruined. This, however, is something that must be done for the greater good. One must not allow sentimental attachments to interfere in these matters. The fact will be uncovered while this parliament is in session, and the Incarosha family may stand to be punished. If this happens, Enrique. Enrique will not be the only one punished, but Isabel will also stand to face punishment. I understand you've been accompanying Isabel all this time, but surely you haven't grown feelings for the Incarocious, have you? Regardless, you must tell everyone that you are part of the Light family. That is the only way you'll escape punishment. The Callous Parliament will soon come to order. We shall witness the beginning of the end of the Incarocious family together. Alright, so, got time left in this video. Kind of just depends. Do we, uh, do we want to go... Be a part of Parliament, or do we want to just go farm? I guess we'll go be a, we'll go be a part of Parliament. 
I haven't been doing like any of the story on this character other than fighting bosses. So probably time for me to participate. This isn't, no, that's not the, fa that's not the fountain with the uh, central market. All right, let's do this. Crouch on the table. Here's my seat. How's Crouch here? Silence. Under the laws of Kalos, this parliament is now in session. Jordine Ducas, the Grand Chamberlain of Hydel, has drawn his sword in opposition against Calfian. We suspect that the Jean Merchant Guild and of the Incarosia family is collaborating in, with Hydel. If the members of the assembly wish to speak, you may do so now. I'm sure the Incarosia family has a lot to say on this matter. Only the fit. Oh my, okay, okay, we're, we're not, we're not, I, I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm gonna say they can be trusted, because we didn't do that before, because they're asking me. Wait, stop for a second, it's a little too late. That's just them talking about. Yeah, yeah, it, it, I, I, I couldn't read that again. I know I'm gonna have to read it at least another time on, on Lon, and I, I, it's so much reading. I will take over from here. Your face is covered in sweat. If you don't mind, could you please step, take a step back? There's no need to worry. I'll be fine. The time has come to put an end to this unnecessary inquisition. The callous parliament is and should remain a purveyor of truth. You would all do well to bear this in mind. I'll step back. She's apologizing for being late and denying the false claims. Who am I supposed to talk now? Okay. Herman Ferocio. The return of the accused and payment from Idel haven't been received. It would appear that our suspicions may have been well misguided. Are there any who would object, or do any of the families wish to read further issue? If not, then it's over. Okay, essentially. You and Isabel were almost branded as traitors. I would like to apologize to you on behalf of the Cal's Parliament. It seems that we have to first find out if the Grand Chamberlain of Hydel is planning to point his sword at us. You said your name is Ashen One Cirilla? I'll be sure to remember you. Yeah, you're welcome. What's with that look? I came here as soon as I could. Anyways, you joined the light merchant... No, I did not... It doesn't matter what you said. Okay, whatever. Were you expecting an emotional reunion? I'm not one to make a scene over such things. Since you arrived early in the capital, I imagine you've had plenty of time to play hero. You must be mentally exhausted. Why don't you get some rest? Isn't there someone else you need to see? All honesty, though, I want you to know that I appreciate all you did this time around. Oh, Okay. Let's go. Let's just go meet Povius. I don't know. I don't know. You guys might have really wanted... I don't know. Maybe someone really wanted to see me read that, but... Oh my gosh, it is so much reading. If you don't remember that episode from the Sorcerer playthrough, go watch it. It's like 40 minutes long of me just reading. Because that's how long that takes. Alright, Povius. Uh, it hasn't been that long, but it feels like an eternity since we last seen each other. Good to see you, rookie. I'm sure you have a lot to ask. Aren't you curious to know what happened after you left? This all happened after you delivered the medicine to Isabel. Valentine, the chief of Florin, urgently came to us and said that he made the wrong medicine. The medicine the chief made was supposed, supposed to be used to remove poison from the body. The medicine I have with me here is used to treat infections from wounds such as cuts from a dirty sword. Ironically, Isabel started recovering after taking the medicine that Valentine made. I found this strange because Isabel took a medicine that is supposed to remove poisons. Do you know what this means? This means that she didn't suffer from infections due to a sword cut, but that someone had poisoned her food. We should have checked to see if, in fact, Isabel's wounds were from a dirty sword, but we wouldn't have been able to lay a hand on someone like Lady Isabel to check her ourselves or check for ourselves, considering her our lowly status. The entire thing was planned out, even with this in mind. The only thing we ate was some stew from the northern wheat plantation. The woman is very cunning. Do you know who I'm referring to? The one who orchestrated all of this is none other than Norma Light from the northern wheat plantation. There was no way that Lady Isabel could have been wounded at the castle ruins. I mean, I, I was there to protect her. Forgive me. I must have been distracted by all that has happened lately. This is all my fault. I also left you in a difficult position, too. The trading rights for the Black Kitchell extraction of Kaplan must have gone over to the Light Merchant Guild. Do you know who the original proprietor of those trading rights was? It's not other than the John Merchant Guild. You must have fallen for a deep ploy devised by the Light family. Merchants are just dangerous when they offer acts of goodwill. 
You look like you're full of rage. What will you do? Confront a line of light? Well, I mean, I don't have a choice. There's not there's not many choices in this game. You just, you just do as you're told. He hints that you should go confront a line of light. Well, hello, here we go. Let's go confront a line of light. There's no like, oh, you know what, Povius? I kind of like her more than Isabel. But you came as I expected you would. You seem to be glowing with content. Thanks to you, our plans have failed miserably. All that has happened was brought on by spite will of the by the spiteful will of those who have that have passed on. You're right. It is we, the Light family, who has given Lady Isabel such troubles. The Incarosha family grew in a short period of time. They were ruthless in removing their competition, using any and all means possible. Competitors of the Incarosha included good people. Some even were highly regarded in society. However, the Incarosha family showed no mercy. They dealt a blow to their rivals that drove families to the brink of extinction. Many from those families fell into poverty, resorting to extreme measures just to survive. What of their families? Considering all of the pain the Encroach family has inflicted on others, the fall of Lady Isabel and the decline of her family are but small prices to pay. Your presence has been the greatest variable of changing of change this plan. I was hoping that you would re not return until the Cal's Parliament session was over. However, I did not anticipate that you would resolve issues in Kaplan so quickly. Now everything has gone downhill. So now that you know, what do you plan to do? Are you going to tell the Parliament of our plans to kill Lady Isabel, or are you going to let the people know? The Incarochas were able to get the, where they are today through sheer ruthlessness. Us light supported the needy and have won the respect of the people in the capital. I'm pretty sure which side you'll see as being right. The Jean Alliance ends today. It would have been nice if you simply had joined us lights. Alright, back to Povius. Back to our good friend Povius who just tells us what to do, essentially. What am I- what's next, Povius? There is some truth to what Elena Light said. There are many who have suffered injustices because of us. Therefore, we cannot be too critical of their actions. This is Calpheon, the city of power. We shall remember what happened here today. There will be many changes to the Jean Alliance in the future. Go to Lazy Isabel. The entire situation has have already come to an end. Uh, she has something that she wishes to discuss with you. Wait, before you go, I want to personally thank you again. As a member of the Jean Merchant Guild, you have done well. Moving on. I think this is it. This is the end of this part of the quest. Kind of happy I did this. Uh, you're here. We are going to continue moving forward. The Jean Merchant Guild only exists today by overcoming difficulties such as these. We started our journey from the scanty town of Heidel and have come a long way. This being together, of course. Do you remember what my father told you? That you did not fit the profile of a merchant, a merchant guildsman? I think this was correct. You're too valuable to be bogged down by corruption and struggles for power. I've had to make a hard decision, but I believe I made the right one. You're fired. You seem surprised, but allow me to explain my reasons. This ordeal has made me realize that there are those who suffer when the Merchant Guild, when I ex act on profit. Those around me, such as yourself, are also harmed in the process. There is still much to do, but I will take responsibility for whatever happens from here on out. Your story will no doubt take you to greater horizons, but at the end of the day must be your own story free from the influence of others when our stories come to an end the day shall come when we meet again as equals i look forward to this day make haste yet be careful on your journey to the top ah the story of the hero born upon the winds ah how did this happen how on earth did we get fired we should have taken over the entire merchant guild just thought we would witness a more exciting outcome Ha, ah, you don't need to be upset about it, though. Sure, you lost your job, but on the other hand, you managed to achieve further fame through your exploits in, Kel in Keplin. Hee hee hee, we are the heroes who saved Calpheon. I can hear a barely noticeable melody traveling through the winds. Could it be the poets who are singing songs of our tale? They're probably hymns that are dedicated to us. I'm curious. Let's go back to Calpheon. Hee hee hee, we're in Calpheon, you idiot. Got Oh, we got the Kaya necklace. One of the best necklaces. One of the best necklaces in the game. I don't know why I like mumbled that. Pop that on. You can see it's seven seven with two defense. I mean, it's not crazily better than the bear's necklace, but it is better enough that it that it makes a little bit of a difference. So are we we're eleven one eleven one thirteen, which in all honesty is not that far off of my main character. We need to listen to people on the southern side of Calpheon.
This is one of those few times you gotta lean up against a wall and eavesdrop. This is gonna tell us about the western areas. Alright. Eavesdrop. Summon out the black spirit. That's unbelievable. There's no way this could be happening. What on earth are they t thinking? We were the ones who saved who saved by the Jean Merchant Guild. Yet, yeah, why is Elian the one being thanked? Let's go to the Parliament. I'm sure someone will be waiting for you there. Your visit will bring good tidings. They're bound to recognize your contributions. Like the Parliament here? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Should probably hit up... This is probably not perfect durability. I don't think it's perfect durability, which is, which is tragic. Ah, hello, Enrique and Karosha. You arrived at a good time. Did Isabel throw you out at the Jean Merchant Guild? How interesting. What, what's with that dunflaunted look on your face? Are you really that clueless still? It seems that you still haven't grown out of your childish sentimentality. And here I was beginning to think you were becoming a true merchant. Can you not see? Isabel released you, released you from service because she knew that I wanted you. The foolish child probably didn't want to make things difficult between us. God, forget everything I just said. I've said too much. I actually have a task for you. A task that can be handled by you regardless of whether you are a member of the Jean Merchant Guild. Too many prying eyes where we currently stand. There's a quiet room where we can discuss matters behind the parliament. I have a feeling that you're destined to do great things in the future. Always remember that you should be prepared for such a day. If you want to earn money. Alright, to the back we go. Alright, Enrique, what do you got? I can see that you and I are alike. What I mean by that is we both clearly know what we want. We meet at last. I've been looking for you for a long time. What I need is an open-minded and skilled adventurer like yourself, not some prestigious knight from Calpheon full of formality. So are you ready? You'll be very well compensated if you succeed. Take this letter to Annalisa Rosie at the library and bring me back the item that she'll hand to you. Alright, so we need to meet Annalisa Rosie at the Calpheon Holy College. I'm sure we'll finish, we'll do this, we'll finish this quest out here. Um, and then we will call it an episode. Because we're, we're running to the normal time limit that I usually call episodes at, so. Pretty much time to call it. Up the stairs we go. Hopefully, I forget. I, I'm kind of forgetting this quest because obviously I've only done it once, this part of the quest. So I'm trying to think what comes after this. I actually thought we were done after after uh, a line of follow, fo or fires us. I thought after that we it wanted us to go westward. But... I was incorrect. This is the weirdest winding road up to the to the library. It's such a weird route that they want you to take. All right. Hello, Annalisa Rossi. This is definitely a Karosha seal. Come closer and listen well. Even the walls have ears here. You are Cirilla, right? Calfian's rising hero. I wonder who Master and Karosha would send as a messenger. I had no idea it would be someone so accomplished. Your reputation precedes you, and under his recommendation, you have utmost trust. Master and Karosha has tasked me with finding a forbidden book for him, but I feel that it is beyond my abilities. One must not be seen so much as touching it, lest they be thrown into trial for heresy. I cannot imagine there is anyone in Calfian brave enough to take this risk. Master and Karosha has also trusted me a letter for his niece, Nella. Please take it to her. Alright, Nella. Oh, I actually... Oh, she's down here. 
I thought she was up top, but I knew she was doing something like this. Why is she dressed differently? Oh no, never mind. This student. Okay. Why? Why do some of? Why do the blue ones have like a shield? They just look more formal. It's really weird. All right, ten percent initial interest and ten percent compound interest every ten days. Ah, you're not here to borrow money? Then why are you? Huh? Cirilla, what could the hero of Calfion be doing walking so casually around these hollowed grounds? Ah, the path you've just come from. You've met, you've just met Annalisa, have you not? My uncle must have something to do with this. But what? What is the connection? No, he couldn't be. Tell me it is not what I think it is. Yes, hello, adventurer. What were you thinking? It's glaringly obvious he must have already contacted a librarian on the matter and they failed to help him. Meaning, this is no ordinary book he is looking for. And now he, now we have someone of your renown and ability coming on his behalf. He's looking for a bid, forbidden book, is he not? He really should be more careful. And judging by the look on your face, you haven't found it yet. How do I know? It's quite simple, really. Do not let me, do not let my appearance fool you, adventurer. I am still an Incarosia, a member of the wealthiest family in all of Calfian. Wealth and fame await me in the future. I cannot stand this tedium, reading endless scriptures as I rot away in my dorm. If I can find this book that even Annalisa couldn't find, my uncle will have no option but to finally acknowledge my talents. The tools of any merchant are trust and their contacts, and I know the very person capable of helping me find this forbidden book. It's a close friend of mine, Aphirius Filiberto. With his connections, finding the forbidden book shouldn't be a problem. Alright. I don't know why you popped up. Okay, so we need to go find Filiberto Falassi in Port Aphiria. That is a ways away, so this is a good point to call it an episode. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed the video, though. Drop it a big old like if it did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Black Desert. Peace.